Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing really well. Today, I'm finally doing it. Updated tattoo tour. I've been putting this off for so long because I just know how long it's going to take me. But I think the last time I did this was like four years ago, I want to say. So there's a lot of new stuff going on. For you, I will do it. I'm going to just try and run through them as quickly as possible. I'm sure I will forget some, but I'm going to try my best to go through them all. Um, brief meanings, pain, that kind of thing. But yeah, I'd get a cup of tea if I was you. Got an energy drink on the go. I knew it was going to be one of them. I'm going to go ahead downwards that way hopefully i don't forget anything i wouldn't have a clue what order i got them done in now so we're gonna do it that way let's get into it if we're going head downwards my first ones are my ears so on this side i've just got dots all down my ears i had this one done probably three years ago i have had it quite a while i just wanted a little extra something i was kind of done getting piercings and i wanted to have a little little extra pizzazz so at the same time i got my other ear i had these little four dots here done they don't really mean anything i just didn't want to get another tragus piercing which is fair enough and then about a year ago i had these other little dots added in so those are my ears i just like them i feel like it adds a little extra something and i think it complements my piercings really nicely that's it for like here i don't have any other facey neck ones or anything which we do next let's do hands so my hands these dots all the way along here again these are probably maybe even like five years old um I had those done a long time ago. I thought they were cute. I'll probably add to them at some point. I was thinking the other day, like this top bit of my fingers is a little bit empty, but I'm in no rush. My fingers, I've got this little lightning bolt underneath here. This was actually for my ex. Um, it really doesn't bother me. I always think people think if you have a tattoo for someone, it's like devastatingly groundbreaking every time you look at it. But honestly, I don't notice it's there. I always have rings on it anyway. Um, I'm looking at lasering some at some point, so if I can be bothered, I'll chuck that one in, but honestly, even if I never got rid of it, it really doesn't bother me. Um, next up, I've got these two flowers that my friend Izzy did. She also did my hand. I did these first, and then my hand probably over a year ago now, I want to say. I feel like my timeline is way off, but I think I've had the top of my hand done about a year, and those maybe two years. These flowers were hand poked, and they've healed perfectly. She did this with a machine, and it's also healed perfectly. She is just an angel. This is probably one of my favorite tattoos, my hand. Um, she's one of my closest friends, so it's really nice that my hand is kind of dedicated to her. I just love them. I think they are gorgeous, and I just love it. I think the shape is perfect. I love how it sits around there. And then other hand, this one, I'm gonna show you this way around. Uh, this one was done by Grace Reed. I got this one done before I had this one done. As soon as I had this hand done, I was like, I need them both done. I just loved the way that it looked as soon as I got them. So it's just a butterfly with some little like flames, a couple of sparkles. And then also brought the sparkles down onto my knuckles here. And then a couple of little dots just kind of bridge it up there. And my hands, I do really want to get my palms done at some point, but I'm terrified to do it. Um, the guy that I want to do them used to work in our studio. And watching people get their palms tattooed every day is enough to put you off for life. So one day I will do them. I know what I want. Um, so maybe one day. I'll be brave enough to do it. Now going onto my arms, my right arm, and um, these are actually some of my first tattoos I ever had are on this side. Peonies, sunflowers, this kind of floral arrangement here, and then down here I've got this bird. This is actually a blue tit. Um, I had this put in because we get them in our garden all the time, and I just thought it was a cute little homage to home. That is the bottom of that arm there. Oh, self-love heart. My friend Zaya did this. This is one of my newest ones, actually. It's quite an awkward angle to show you but beautiful really fine line rose she added a little bow down the bottom as well and i just think it's perfect i had this weird gap when i'd like stand like this and it just filled it perfectly so i love that another one done by my friend izzy this is a little coffee cup for one of my favorite books which is before the coffee gets cold i just love the message of it so i wanted something to remind me of that gorgeous little coffee cup fits in there so nicely don't have anything in the ditch probably never will and i've got my elbow this big chrysanthemum clearly i had this one done while i was like really into getting tattooed probably when i was like 19 20 i think i was like really into it i was really excited by it obviously still am but it was when i knew i wanted to tattoo and i like wanted to get loads of stuff i'm so glad that i got painful ones like that done then because now obviously I'm too much of a pussy. I absolutely love that. I think it's probably one of my favorites. I don't see it that much, but it just looks so good. So that was probably one of my most painful. That is a horrible area on that little knobbly bit. The rest of them, I feel like arms in general aren't too bad. Why am I out of breath? This is like stressing me out trying to remember them all. And moving up my arm, I've got my Frida Kahlo. Again, had this when I was probably 19, 20. I'm 25 this year, just for reference. So I've had most of these on my arm quite a long time. Absolutely love this. She's one of my favourite artists ever. I feel like she needs no introduction or explanation. Little Jay for my best friend Jaden. Got this one after I've been through like a really, really tough time and he was just there for me all the time. He's my best friend ever. So, and I feel like if we weren't ever friends, I know people love saying that, but I love Justin Bieber. So that's for Justin Bieber. This gorgeous vase with my palm leaves in it. I absolutely love this. This is probably the one people compliment me on the most. Um, I just think it fits so perfectly in there. I had like a long gap and I kind of needed something to sit in there and that's just gorgeous. Um, I forgot to mention pretty much all of these were done by G Hawks. I'll tag everybody in the description anyway, but other than those three that I mentioned. So yeah, all the others were G. Izzy also did this one. This is the first tattoo Izzy ever did on me. This is when we first met and I just love it. It was one of her flash designs and I think it's so cool. I always love how it looks like in pictures. 
like that. So cool. Okay. Oh, another one on my arm. This tears dry on their own. Amy Winehouse song, obviously. This one's kind of lumpy. It was done by just like a random guy, but I actually love it. I really like that and I like the font of it. So that is that arm done, I think. Yep, that arm's done. I've got these lemons all the way up here. These were also done by G. All the way up here and round. On the other side, I've got this big floral cobweb thing. This was by Georgina Langford. This was done at Brighton Convention probably five years ago. It's the first time I ever met her and I was desperate to get tattooed by her and I just love it. It's so cool. I love the cobweb so much and I love the way it joins onto everything. Um, I've just realised I didn't mention with my hand ones, I also have these dots all the way along here. Um, this was actually Grace's idea while we were doing my hand. She was like, do you want to do dots along there? And I thought, yeah, why not? And I actually love it. I like how it looks when you go like that. Like a little snail. Then inside of my arm, this was actually my first tattoo, probably one of my most special ones. This is a little bumblebee. I got this one with my sister. My mum also has matching now, so it's like a family kind of thing. That was also done by G. She did most of my first ones. Anything around there? No. This arm, I've got Amy Winehouse, so I don't know where you can see them too together but the two girls i think i got frida first and then i was like i want another girl that i love on the back just to have like my girls i just love amy winehouse she's kind of like reminds me of being young with my dad and stuff so i got her done quite soon after i got my frida carlo one but they're kind of like my angels on my shoulders you know kind of thing the hair is like so satisfying then i've got a little playboy bunny this one was completely random to be fair that was just like to fill a gap it's quite cute i do have a gap here that needs something but I don't really know what to do with it. On here, I've got my ornate scissors. Again, just had like a weird long thin gap here. So I needed something to fit kind of in that sort of shape. And the only thing I could think of was scissors. Inside my arm, I've got my goldfish bruise. My friend Zaya did that one as well. I love that. The detail in it is so nice. But yeah, I got that when my goldfish died. I was very attached to him. I had him for like 10 years. Onto my shoulder. This was actually one of my really early tattoos. Probably my first like bigger one. Um, again done by G and these are pictures of flowers from my nan's garden So it's like the most nostalgic place in the world to me It reminds me of being little and like it's just a very special place to me So I wanted something for my nan So I took pictures of these flowers from her garden and got them done exactly the same so it kind of goes it goes all the way around the back And onto my collarbone, but I absolutely love that one I think that was the one that really like kick-started my arms I always look at this shoulder and think I need to do something on this side But I'm always really torn with what to do. So I've just got the one for now they are my arms. Pretty sure I haven't missed any there. The only other one I've got kind of up here is my little chest star. I absolutely love this. It is annoyingly like my most copied tattoo, which is such a weird thing. I think until you have a lot of tattoos and they're all over the internet, it's a really hard one to like understand how that would feel. But this was like a really special one to me when I got it. And I see it so much now. I kind of am denied about getting rid of it, but it is really special to me. And like the meaning behind it to me is really special. So I didn't want to get rid of it. Been on the internet for a long time. My tattoos are all over Pinterest. I completely understand that. Everyone has variations of the same things, but there's just some things that when they get copied, it's a little bit, Ugh. but it's fine. Whatever, I'm over it. I'm a tiny speck of dirt in the universe. I don't really care that much. I'm kind of out of breath because I'm like leaning. <laughs> for now, that is my only one there. I might add to it at some point or do something up my neck. I'm just never really sure what. I feel like I overthink them so much more now. I'm a little bit older than I did when I was like 19. Um, but yeah, maybe one day I'll add some bits there. But for now, that is all I've got. Now, going on to my tummy. Pull this up a little bit. So this is my stomach all in all together. This is how it looks as one. Starting from the top, I've got this one also done by my friend Izzy. It was one of her flash designs and it just fitted perfectly there. The little black bits do need touching up a bit, but it hurt so bad that honestly... I will leave it like that forever. Underneath, I've got this big leopard. This was the first one that I got on my stomach and it kind of started the stomach piece off for me. Absolutely love this. Again, I just wanted something long and like jumping. And G did this when I first started working with her. And I love the way the tail goes up there. I think it's really cool. Then I've got a little bit of red writing here. It's really subtle and not that easy to see, but it says English Rose, which is a song by The Jam. I wanted something written there and it was my mum's favourite song growing up. So I thought it was a really cute little addition. I like it in red as well because it's a little bit more subtle. Then a bit lower down, trying not to flash anyone. I have got all of these bits. These were all done by Grace, who did my hand. So this was the first one. I got this sacred heart with a butterfly in it. This was one of her flash pieces, and I just thought it was gorgeous. Then another one. I'm pretty sure this was one of her flash as well. I got this eye with this tribal, kind of in like homage to my makeup side. Then we kind of wanted to fill this gap, so we went for like a classic cobweb around the belly. And this long rose at a nice angle, just so it didn't feel too doot doot doot. So we went at like a bit of an angle. She loved this so much. Whenever I wear like low-waisted stuff, I think it looks so nice. It is so hot in here, but I can't open the window because everyone's like cutting their trees. I'm sweating. Let's move down to legs. Okay, I'm not sure how best to show you this. I've obviously got my tiny little hot pants on for this, but this big hip one that goes from here all the way down to here. This is maybe my biggest piece, I guess. Um, this was also done by Georgina Langford. She freehanded it all on and it's just 
perfect i absolutely love this one um i actually passed out getting that done <laughs> so i had that one done just after lockdown had been lifted which is like such a core memory for me it was so hot i don't know if anyone remembers that time it was like early in the year but it was super super hot and the studio was like really hot it was obviously a big day of tattooing um i got up and everything just went whoop 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 and i was like i think i'm gonna faint actually the only tattoo i've ever fainted from so that's good going. And on this thigh, this is one of my quite recent ones. I've got this beautiful vintage lady also done by Izzy. This was one of her flash pieces. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need that. It really reminds me of my great nan. Like it really looks like her. I love the no outline around the hat. I just think it's gorgeous. The hair is perfect. I'm just obsessed with her. She's stunning. Now, backs of my legs. So done by Izzy. I absolutely love these. I wasn't too worried about what I had on the backs of my legs. I just always felt like in pictures, there was like a bit of a gap. If I was wearing like a mini skirt or something, everything kind of stopped below my knee on the back. So I just wanted something ornate, symmetrical, both sides. Izzy is like the girl for ornate, beautiful, like kind of vintage -y inspired stuff. So the ones above my thighs say sunshine showers. These were really early as well. I had these done years and years ago, but they're still some of my favorites. Kind of like a home Brighton kind of thing. The weather in the UK in general, but especially Brighton is always sunshine showers. And I feel like, you know, such is life. I thought it was like a good reminder of like the good and the bad, you know. Um, I'm a Libra, so you know, I love me some balance. Got those two done. I love the writing and the little sparkles. G did those as well. This knee was done by Georgina Langford, who did my hip. Loved why I got some little flowers in there. I just wanted something around my knee rather than over it. And also by Georgina, we did this big pomegranate shin piece. I love this so much. No real reason, I just wanted something long. That did my whole shin and i do like pomegranates it's actually my newest one but it's so hard to show you i hope you can really see this properly but this is my newest one by my friend deck that i work with i absolutely love him it's one of his flash pieces and as soon as i saw it i was like boy have i got the gap for you not fully healed yet it's still a little bit dry in places but it just looks gorgeous and i love it god i feel like i've got a lot like around this area and on the inside i've got this little betty boop i actually did this one myself i'd drawn up loads of bettys and i wanted one myself so I sat one day and did this on myself. I absolutely love it. Betty Boop is like so nostalgic to me, so I needed to have one of them. I've got a bee down here. This is my first tattoo I ever did, so it's very patchy, but I'll never touch it up because I just love it. As shit as it is, it has good memories attached to it. So I've got Elton John, Tiny Dancer lyrics, Blue Jean Baby, LA Lady, one of my favourite songs, and I just love the font that they're in. That was done by Jeannie Kitty. This side, another one that I did on myself. This is my sister's name in Hoop. I also did my name in hoops on her, so it's like our little matching one that were both done by me. But I love that. I think it's so cute. This big one goes all around my knee. This was also done by Izzy. I absolutely love this. I love how black it is. I love the like really high contrast. I love these flowers and the little dots. I just love that. I always like how that looks when I've got my legs out. I think it's so nice. This one here, another one I did myself. You can tell that I only really like tattooing my own legs. It's just like the comfiest thing to tattoo on yourself. Little Vivian Westwood Orb. Did this, I think, like the week or week after she died. One of my favourite designers ever. Very British. I fitted this chain just so it would fit perfectly with what I already had there. Skull on the bottom of my shin. Also done by Jeannie who did my font on the back. This is one of her flash as well. It has a leaf in the mouth. Get in there guys. Hold, hold on in there. This is one I don't really like very much. If I could get rid of that I would. But honestly I think it would take quite a long time to laser. So I'm not that bothered about it. Um, I just don't love it as much as my others. But... It's just quite thick and it wasn't exactly what I asked for. But to be honest, it kind of just builds up the whole thing. Once you have a few, you don't really care in detail what you have so much. So yeah, it's fine. Then on this ankle, I've got 1995. This is the year my sister was born. It's quite a cute one. I always forget to have that actually. I haven't seen that in a long time. Just the top of the ankles and the feet to go. These again, I also did on myself. Just a little ornamental. This felt like when I was wearing like shoes and shorter trousers, I always had like a bit of a gap there. So I just needed a little something. So I did matching on both sides. Then my feet, a moth on this side, all the way around. Sorry, I'm literally covered in blisters. I wore the most uncomfortable shoes the other day ever. Moth and some berries on this side, beetle and some matching berries just to tie them in together. I love the shapes of them. I think they're really flattering on the feet. And I love how they look with like heels and sandals and stuff. Once I got my feet tattooed, I really preferred wearing like open shoes. I think, I think that's it. And there we go. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. I will probably watch this back and realize that I've missed some out, but I will link all the artists that I've spoken about in the description box. The only area that I don't have is like my back and my bum at the moment there's no reason really for that i just haven't found the right thing um i probably said this in my video five years ago or whatever but i really want to do one big thing on my back and i've always had that in mind so i've always kept it empty i'm always umming and ahhing about it i always see things and i'm like that's the thing and then it's not the thing that will definitely be getting done at some point i'm not going to keep my back empty but just finding the right thing so other than my back and my bum everywhere else it's kind of done. There we go. That is my full tattoo tour. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a lovely rest of the day and I will see you all very soon. Love you.